Thank you for having your pet spayed or neutered. You've become part of the solution to the pet overpopulation problem. You're taking your pet home, and there are some very important post-op instructions you need to follow, so pay attention. There will be a test. Well, not a real test, but your pet is depending on you to follow these directions carefully. If there are any concerns directly related to the surgery during the recovery period, including incision issues, please call us right away. No running, jumping, swimming, playing, or other strenuous activity for 7 to 10 days after surgery. No baths for 2 weeks and keep your pet calm and quiet. Pets must be kept indoors where they can stay clean, dry, and warm. Dogs must be leash walked and cats kept indoors for seven to 10 days. If you have a feral or barn cat, try to keep them in an enclosed and temperature controlled environment such as a garage, barn, or basement for 24 to 48 hours before letting them back outside. Check your pet's incision site twice daily. What it looks like today is normal. Some bruising is expected, but redness and swelling should be minimal. This is important. Do not allow your pet to lick or chew at the incision. If they do, an e-collar must be used. You can purchase one now for $5 if you know your pet's a licker. This is for their benefit. They may look pitiful, but they'll appreciate not having to come back to Pet Community Center to get a swollen incision checked out. Your pet received internal sutures. These will dissolve in about three months, so there's no need to bring them back to have them removed. You will see a small tattoo near your pet's incision. No, it doesn't say mom inside a heart. It's a small green line on their belly. This is a common practice to identify sterilized animals. The tattoo is a scoring process in the skin. It's not an extra incision. Glue is used to seal the tattoo. Don't rub it, wet it, or scrub it. It'll flake off on its own. Warning, graphic images. Turn your head if you don't want to see. These are not normally healing surgical sites. If your pet's incision looks like this, call us immediately. Okay, gooey grossness is over. Back to your regularly scheduled post-op instructions. When you get home, offer your pet a little water first and then a small meal of his or her normal food. Appetite should return gradually within 24 hours. Do not change your pet's diet and don't give them junk food, table scraps, milk, or any other people food because it could mask other problems. Don't go to McDonald's and get Spot a Big Mac as a treat for being a good boy at the doctor. Dogs may have a slight cough for the next few days from the breathing tube used during surgery. Be on the lookout for these important symptoms. Lethargy or depression lasting for more than 24 hours post-op. Pale gums, diarrhea or vomiting, discharge or bleeding from the incision, difficulty urinating, or labored breathing. If you observe any of these signs, please call the clinic during business hours or call our after hours line at 615-802-8387. If your pet received a first-time vaccine, they'll need a booster in three to four weeks in order to provide effective protection from diseases. More information about vaccinations is available from our staff or your full-service veterinarian. All dogs and cats have received pain medication during surgery, which should last a few days. If your pet seems in pain after a few days, do not give any human medications as these can be harmful. Please call us and we will provide appropriate medication to keep your pet comfortable. If your pet received a microchip, it'll be registered using the contact information you provided today. You will receive an email from Found Animals in the next 24 hours to set up your account. We hope your furry family member has a speedy recovery. Remember to call our number if you have any questions. Pet Community Center will treat at our clinic, at minimal cost, any post-op complications resulting directly from surgery if the post-op instructions are followed in full. Your full-service veterinarian must address illness or injuries that are not a direct result of surgery. However, Pet Community Center will not be responsible for the cost of care at another veterinary facility without prior authorization. Please call our office as soon as you see cause for concern. We can't be held responsible for complications resulting from failure to follow post-op instructions or for contagious diseases for which the animal was not properly vaccinated. Be sure to keep the post-op instruction sheet you received this morning for at least two weeks. It contains our daytime and after-hours phone numbers. We offer flea and tick preventive, heartworm preventive, as well as dewormers. If you would like to purchase these products before you leave today, please see the front desk. You can also come in to purchase them within a year of today's appointment for any pet that has visited our clinic. 
Thank you for choosing Pet Community Center. We appreciate the opportunity to care for your pet. And please spread the word to help us reach more people and pets with our programs at Pet Community Center.